Hey guys, what's going on? Spipbrix here, back for their LEGO video, and recently I found a listing for 40 vintage LEGO minifigures. We're talking minifigures back from the late 1980s, early 1990s. There were 40 of them in this lot, as well as some extra torsos and accessories. I couldn't pass it up, so I picked it up here, and here we have our package. We're going to be opening it up, see if we can even find some of Benny's lost relatives, some classic spacemen perhaps in here. I know there's a lot of LEGO pirates. So there should be some really cool minifigures in here. I'm really excited to open it up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do so. So here is the bag of minifigures. I paid 25 US dollars. I think that's a pretty good price considering that they are in used condition. I mean, any minifigure back from the 80s is definitely going to have signs of wear on it. But right off the bat here, I noticed some really cool things about these minifigures that I'll point out as we go through them. Some interesting pieces as well that are very, very old and that LEGO minifigures definitely don't use anymore. Now I've noticed that the minifigures in this bag, their torso, legs, heads, and accessories are definitely all jumbled up and mixed together just like you would, you know, customize a minifigure while you're playing with them, which is totally fine, but I'm going to take a few moments here and sort them out, try and match up some of them and see if we got any complete minifigures. I mean, I assume we do. All the pieces are just really mixed up and combined with different ones here, so give me a second and I'll be right back. Alright, so with the power of editing, it's as if no time has really went by, however, it's been about a day, I've done a lot of research on the figures, got to know a little bit more about each of the sub-themes, there's a very large variety of minifigures in here, I mean, dating back to just some of the very beginning simplistic minifigures to whenever, like this Aqua Zone here, one that has a lot of accessories on it. We're going to be checking out a lot of different figures, we're going to be looking at them by different themes. I believe I counted about 39 minifigures that are practically complete. Some of them may be missing like a hairpiece or a hat, but other than that, pretty much we got a solid batch of minifigures here, a lot of different themes. So let's go ahead and begin with that. In front of you right now, you guys can see Lego Pirates. This was the first Lego theme that actually got different printing on that minifigure head instead of just having a regular smile. In this bag of minifigures, it just so happens we didn't only get one original pirate captain back from 1989. We got two of them, which that was a pretty nice surprise as I was going through these pieces. Of course, the pirates here, first time this hook hand was introduced back in 1989, and that peg leg. Very, very cool minifigures. Basically, the original brick beard, as basically the pirate captains are called now these days. And of course, with that, there were a lot of other pirate minifigures. We have this female pirate that came along here that we found the pieces for. Pretty cool. You guys can see the different printing on the these figures, a lot of which are going to be very similar to each other, such as these two pirates right here. They've got the same head, they've just got different colored legs and torso printing there. And interestingly enough, there are actually three of these pirate members, all basically the same except the guy here on the left has his accessories along with it. These guys don't have their hats, which is a bit disappointing, but still really cool. So that's a lot of LEGO Pirates figures. A lot of the themes won't have this many members. They're really scattered. It's really interesting. Whoever did collect these had a very broad interest and was also a fan of LEGO for a while. I mean, these guys are back from 89. But there are also a lot of 1990s and some even earlier 80s as well. Oh, and also there were these two soldier minifigures along with this original Pirates line as well. And talking about some of the more simplistic minifigures in this bag, this guy right here, this combination of these pieces was first seen back in 1985 as the forklift driver, and so this may be where this guy's come came from since there are a lot of 1980s minifigures in here. Very simplistic, but a pretty cool looking design. Here's an interesting minifigure. This guy went by the name of Black Bart from the LEGO Western theme in 1996. Sometimes he had a black bandana and in some sets he did not. Here he also has a brown cowboy hat and some pretty good looking detailing on his face and torso printing here. No back printing and basically none of them will because, you know, we're talking about some old LEGO minifigures. Another really interesting one is this guy. This torso right here is from Mtron. It's a very obscure theme that really, you know, didn't not many people know about, let's be honest, at this point. But this is a really cool torso. I like that. And one of my favorite picks from this bag is a retro Space Police minifigure back from 1992. You guys may know I'm a very, very 
very big fan of LEGO Space Police. I basically have all the Space Police sets that were released in the 2000s, and this guy here from 1992 is a really cool looking figure, even has the visor still with him. Now I know you are all wondering if we ended up getting a classic Benny or a classic Retro Spaceman here, and we did, in fact, a complete one except for the air tank on the very back, but if you look at it from the front, it's basically the complete Benny's ancestor pretty much. This is really, really cool to actually get this guy back from 1984, basically 1984 blue spaceman here, and we almost got a complete yellow one as well. There's a lot of kind of damage on this guy's head, but we do have the torso here, and actually we also have a red one. This one's very close as well, but for some reason this guy doesn't have any hands, so I feel kind of bad for this guy, but as far as the bag, I mean, I can replace it with some red hands to make this guy complete, but as far as what came in the bag, for some reason there were no hands for this guy. Oh, and there was also a white spaceman torso, but this one has seen its better days. This racer minifigure is back from 1988 and supposedly came in the Victory Lap Raceway set. This guy is pretty cool. He also has a visor up here and a pretty decent looking torso. And as we're on the topic of sort of race car drivers, we have this guy, an Octan Racer. That torso is really, really nice. I like that he's got the helmet up here. And uh, Octan was always cool to get minifigures with Octan on it. I always like those minifigures for some reason. They just are kind of appealing to me. Anyway, so we got this guy as well. Some of my favorite minifigures in this batch have got to be some of these classic LEGO Castle minifigures, like this one here with this plastic cape piece, the very, very original cape piece the LEGO minifigures wore before they changed it to felt. It's a plastic piece here that goes around the neck, so that's really nice. We have a retro helmet up here as well with underneath, of course, just the regular smiley face. But LEGO Castle, I hope you are a LEGO Castle fan because we got a lot of them. Just like LEGO Pirates, it appears that LEGO Castle was one of this guy's favorite uh, LEGO themes. And here we have this really cool printed shield. There are also these two castle minifigures I believe are supposed to be just like citizens or civilians of the kingdom. And we also have a few others here, this guy with a black torso, black legs here. And this last guy with a different torso, got some of that shiny gold on there with those axes. So I decided I'd give him the axe accessory that came inside the bag as well. Seems fitting. Next up is a set of minifigures from a theme that I really wasn't too familiar with at the time. This is from a theme called Rescue. You guys can see on the back of these minifigures here from 1998, so not that old, but still in the 1900s here. Basically all the minifigures here, I believe. We got those very old classic hats on these minifigures as well as the life vests. And I like the printing. I like the color combinations here. These are some really interesting minifigures and uh, I found it interesting researching this rescue theme. Along with Lego Castle, we have the Castle Forest Men. These are some really nice minifigures, some of my favorites as well because of this hat piece. Luckily, two out of the three actually have their hat piece. This guy's is missing, but what's really nice is that all of them have different torsos. You guys can see the two on the sides here and here actually have two different colors. So that's pretty nice. I like these figures. There are also these two LEGO Castle minifigures, but not from the same time as the ones that we just looked at. These from a little bit while later. I'm not exactly sure too much on when these guys were, but this guy in particular I think looks really nice with his helmet. However, unfortunately, look at all that damage on the back. Really, whenever you buy used minifigures, there's going to be a handful that are like this. It's just a shame that this really awesome minifigure just so happens to be the one that is pretty badly damaged. Continuing on, I found this hidden gem, a LEGO Robo Force for LEGO System back from 1997. I'm really, really liking this head print up here, of course, with that bandana and the little bit of hair on the top, as well as the torso. Looks really nice. Along with him is one of the late 1900s ninja minifigures for LEGO System. This guy has a ninja star right here and a small dagger in his torso. Underneath here is the printing on his head. I'm very happy that I was able to find this guy in the mix. 
This is the only Aqua Zone minifigure that came in this package. This guy from 1995. He has these chrome silver arrows in the very front as well as small little daggers on the back. This guy is definitely decked out considering the time that this guy was made and you can even take this part off here in order to reveal his head printing under there with a, some light green goggles on or glasses I should say. There were also some civilian minifigures in which I was able to piece together. Of course, this one is missing her hairpiece, obviously. There's also these two figures right here. This guy is just basically a civilian. He's missing his hairpiece. And this guy over here from some sort of Lego castle theme of somewhat. He's also missing a few pieces along the lines. Now along with the minifigures you've already seen, there are a lot of other minifigure parts like torsos, legs, heads, etc. that didn't go exactly together and with that we have a lot of different pieces here. I'm showing you guys them right now just because there are some really cool ones in here but not all of them match up to be a complete figure but I still wanted to show them off. There's also some really nice torsos there. I really like some of those sort of zip up ones. There's also this interesting sort of shield piece with a really nice printing on that as well. There's also two classic space torsos on there that do not have hands once again so I'm not exactly sure why and I assume that all of these don't necessarily have a complete match for a mini figure since this guy probably had other figures he wasn't selling them all maybe in this lot perhaps or some of them had been missing over the years who really knows but in total if you were to just randomly combine the heads the torsos and the legs in total you can get about 50 minifigures in total with this entire bag so it's advertised as 40 there's actually 50 of them here technically you could make so I mean that's even better of a deal if you ask me and that's going to wrap up today's unboxing video. Hope you guys did enjoy seeing some old retired Lego themes. There are a lot of cool hidden gems in here, a lot of cool little pieces. And if you guys want to see me do any sort of video like this in the future, be sure to drop a like rating down below. If you guys have not already checked out my video that I got all those Lego Ninjago minifigures, over 50 of them in that huge haul, there's a link on screen right now. You guys can go ahead and check that one out. I'm Spipricks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below so you not miss out on any further lego action have a great day and as always i'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon